There's different types of surgery. Traditionally, prostates were removed through an incision. So an incision extended from the pubic bone all the way up to below the belly button. This is called open prostatectomy. There's also perineal prostatectomy where, where the prostate is removed from the, the perineum or, or below the scrotum the prostate is removed. Those two procedures are done less and less now that there's more advanced technology. And the advanced technology is laparoscopic surgery or robotic assist surgery. In fact, most prostate removals that are done for prostate cancer are done robotically assisted. And what robot assist is, is using a robot and using robot arms that are controlled by the physician at a table offside in that operating room. And, and the doctor controls those robotic arms, dissects this prostate, and then puts the bladder back together with sutures with, with incredible precision and detail. One of the benefits of robotic surgery is 10 times magnification. So compared to the, to the normal eye of a human, you can zoom up tenfold on the robot. So you can see structures in incredible detail. Again, it's just where surgery is evolving into a much more technical operation. Surgery is also advancing into less invasive technology. So at specialty centers, they're now even removing the prostate through one single incision. So single incision prostatectomy is being done at specialty centers. Again, not available everywhere, but in certain centers, it can be done. All of this stuff is improving. Technology is improving. And robotic assist surgery for prostate removal has improved outcomes with regards to treatment for prostate cancer. So regardless of the, the, the way your surgery is done, the goal of surgery is to remove that prostate remove the seminal vesicles, remove that, that vas deferens tube, and then also this inner part of urethra is removed. That's called the prostatic urethra. All of that is removed into this surgical specimen. So this is what the pathologist gets. And what the pathologist does is he looks at this specimen and he examines the specimen and sees has this cancer been totally removed? Is it outside of this capsule of the prostate? Did it go up against the capsule? Is it possible that there may still be cancer cells left in the body? The pathologist will also look at lymph node packets. Sometimes these lymph node packets are removed to look for extension of cancer into the lymph nodes. So all of that is done with surgery. And then the bladder neck is put back together with a few sutures back to this urethra. The procedure itself will take anywhere from 90 minutes to five hours, depending on various factors. With prostate surgery, you're almost always going to have a catheter in place, and the catheter may be in place for anywhere from seven to 10 days. There's also a recovery time. So guys, you know, need anywhere from two weeks to six weeks to fully recover from some type of major pelvic surgery like prostate cancer removal surgery. Now, once you've had prostate cancer surgery, one of the things you, you need to be aware of is how to understand your pathology report. So one of the things that's important is in understanding your margin status. And what your margin status is, is how close did this cancer get to the edge of this prostate? And really what you're trying to decide is, is it possible that the, the, the surgery was performed, 
the prostate was removed. And is it possible that there may be cells, cancerous cells, left in the body, either locally at the prostate or elsewhere in the body along the lymph node chains or the bones that wasn't known prior to the surgery? So your margin status, if you have a positive margin, it means your cancer was removed and the cancer came up to the surgical capsule. What this means is it increases your stage. Anytime there's capsular extension, you're, you're immediately a T3 clinical stage patient. So knowing that status is important. Now, if your margin is negative, your prostate was removed, and the cancer was removed, and the cancer did not come close to this edge of prostate. And so in those patients, these are the patients that, that you like to see that have chosen surgery and have potential cure rate for their surgery um, based on their margin status, which is again, done by the pathologist looking at your surgical specimen. Regardless of the treatment option you choose, everyone has to look at cancer control or how well this treatment controls the cancer. And you have to compare it against the side effect profile. Each treatment has a different side effect profile and a different cancer control. When looking at surgery, surgery is often seen as the gold standard for treatment of prostate cancer. Yes, there are similar 15-year survival rates when you compare surgery and radiation. But surgery is, is, is one of those treatment options that potentially offers a cure. If there's a cancer in the prostate, in the entire prostate, all of the cancer is removed, there's no cells anywhere else left in the body, that potentially offers a patient a cure. And the other treatments, it's just more difficult to know you have some type of cure. And so for many patients, just having the ability to possibly be cured from their cancer is enough for them to say, I would like surgery. Now, surgery, you look at cancer control, you also look at side effect profile, and surgery has one of the greatest side effect profiles. It is something that has numerous side effects, numerous risks associated. It is major pelvic surgery still. And so there's many side effects to surgery. There's many side effects to, to cutting tissue out of the body. And again, this is where the balance needs to take place between cancer control and the side effect profile. Ultimately, this side effect profile affects your quality of life. Do you have retained erections? Are you having leakage? Is there return of cancer or, or spreading or advanced cancer that's not controlled? Um, all of this equates to quality of life if, as you go forward in your journey with prostate cancer. As a surgeon, I believe in prostate surgery. I believe in removal of the prostate. That being said, if I were diagnosed with prostate cancer, I don't know that I would choose surgery as my treatment option. I would look at all the treatment options. I would look at radiation. I would look at proton beam therapy. I would look at focal treatment. I would look at surveillance or watching the cancer. Um, I would look at all the treatment options equally because every patient is different. Everyone has a different situation. Everyone has different um, desires with regards to treatment or surgery or someone may have have had a bad experience with surgery or someone they know, know someone that's had a bad experience with radiation and so these things play a part in choosing what type of treatment you ultimately choose surgery is one of those options and again excellent cancer control 
but there is a large side effect profile that needs to be understood. In choosing a prostate cancer surgeon, it's important to have a high volume surgeon. We know that outcomes are better based on the number of surgeries that doctors are performing. So in such a delicate operation like prostate cancer removal or radical prostatectomy, no doubt if I chose prostate removal for my treatment option, I would go to a high volume center, a specialty center that specializes in robotic prostate cancer removal. Ask your doctor these questions to have them answered so that you know you are getting the right prostate cancer treatment for you.